With the holidays zooming right toward us, it's time to start planning your holiday marketing campaigns. Watch this video to learn how to maximize your reach and your conversions this holiday season. Hi, I'm Morgan, a digital marketing professional here at Life Marketing. The holiday season stretching from October through the end of December is an important revenue-making time for most small businesses. In fact, one-third of small businesses say that Q4 is their most profitable time of year. This can also be a competitive time for marketers, and this year, things are supposed to be even more interesting with all the supply chain issues that we've been running into over the last 18 months. So let's look at some holiday marketing ideas and strategies that will work well for small businesses. This video will be dedicated to December holiday marketing. For a dedicated November, like Black Friday and Cyber Monday video, check out this one by Brandy. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, why should you worry about a campaign? If you're not familiar with the term, campaign is referring to the coordinated marketing strategy around your product, your service, your brand, or your message. Your holiday marketing campaign can help bring in business, connect you with your customers, build relationships, and increase your revenue. The more time that you have to plan and launch a holiday marketing campaign, the better. Let's look at some ideas, methods, tips, and tricks here. First of all, you'll want to use organic strategy. What you don't want to do during the holiday season is pull back on posting, or even worse, stop posting at all. I know it can get busy, which is why it's important to plan your organic content early and get it scheduled out so that you don't have to remember to manually post things. Here are some best practices to follow to help you have a better chance of standing out and getting your customers connected to your products. Number one is to post more frequently. More competition means your posts could get lost in a sea of other posts. If you're not posting frequently enough, the algorithm won't show your post to your audience. If you post daily now, try for twice a day. If you post every other day and now, then maybe start posting daily. The second thing you can do is run giveaways. To increase reach and get customers focused on your products, host giveaways. When you plan giveaways, always have a goal in mind and give away a product or a service that makes sense to that long-term goal. The third thing you can do is use video. The algorithm on nearly every platform is prioritizing video, so make sure that you're creating and posting more videos, and make them as engaging and informative and entertaining as possible. Number four is to share products and sale information. You can go a little heavier on selling during this time of year. Show more of your products, give more details about your services, and share sale info. Users won't see every post that you put out, so you need to be sharing it again and again. Let's look at your paid strategy. It's important to remember that ads will likely cost more during the holidays, but they're still worth it on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Google because of the payoff. A word of warning though, it's a tough time to start advertising for the first time or as a new business in Q4. Things are more expensive, consumer attention is stretched thin, and there are global supply issues to deal with for everyone this year. If you do start advertising, you need to be patient. The next three months may not go well for you, or it might be huge, we don't know yet, but that doesn't mean that you won't be able to establish good results in Q1 of next year. Here's what I suggest that you focus on during the holidays. Focus on retargeting visitors and engagement with dynamic ads. If you sell products, retargeting your website and account visitors with dynamic catalog ads is the way to go. These ads will show your products to interested people and increase the likelihood that you get that conversion. We have a more in-depth video on the topic that you can watch. Links will be in the description. You should also A-B test your ads with lookalike audiences. Using your source audience, like page followers, website visitors, email subscribers, etc., you can create a lookalike audience of people who don't know about you yet, but are likely to be close to an ideal customer. I like to test lookalike audiences against my chosen targeting to see which converts better. If they're performing similarly, I'll start to use that lookalike audience for brand awareness ads. You can learn more about lookalike audiences in this video, link below. Promote your holiday selections with the video views goal. Now you don't need to show humans in this video or say anything at all, which means that you won't have to write a script, which is great for you. Show your products in holiday or winter settings and add some festive music. Use minimal on-screen text to give pricing or ordering information. Once you have that video put together, you'll create a paid ad for video views, and you'll add lookalike audiences and audiences using general targeting. This will help bring more people to your page and to your products, which can translate into more followers, which can mean more sales for you. I encourage you to watch our other videos on setting up good ads so that you can see the success year-round. Let's talk about email marketing. You'll want to continue sending emails during the holidays as well. Unlike organic posting, I don't recommend increasing your send frequency too much. Definitely not doubling it. But you should send an extra email or two a week. What you need to do first is take the time to plan your campaigns. I recommend you sit down at a calendar and mark all of your deadlines for shipping, any sales that you've planned, 
special holidays your customers or your company celebrates, and then mark the days that you'll send emails. Maybe you do these every Tuesday and Thursday. You should start promoting your Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales in the first week of November at the latest. December holiday promotions should start at least six weeks before the day. When you're creating your holiday email campaigns, you don't need to worry about reinventing the wheel. If you want to see great examples of real marketing emails from companies of all sizes, check out reallygoodemails.com. You can search by topic, or category, or you can just browse emails. When you see one that you like, click it and you'll get more information. Now these are real emails, so I do find them helpful to look at, and I recommend you take some time here too. Here are some ideas for emails that you can send that I've had success with in the past. A dedicated holiday guide email. Think about the catalogs that you got in the mail from Toys R Us every year, but digital and for adults if that's your audience. Experiment with how you group and present the guides, and see what performs best. You can also send shipping deadlines and reminders. If you have guaranteed delivery dates or shipping deadlines your customers need to be aware of, Give them a warning, they'll appreciate it. Of course, you'll also want to send sale and coupon information emails. If you're like the majority of businesses during the holidays, you will be offering sales, promotions, and coupons a number of times. Make sure that you give your customers plenty of warning and send them reminder emails on the last day and then a couple of hours before the sale ends. You can also send gift card promotions. As those shipping deadlines pass and it gets closer to the big days, Send out gift card emails. These appeal to the last minute shoppers, the folks who forgot someone. It happens to all of us at some point, no shame. And it's also helpful for whoever else might benefit from a gift card. Maybe they buy it for themselves. I also like to send after holiday emails. Headlines like, didn't get what you wanted, or use your holiday cash, work well to extend sales after the holiday is over. We all know that there is downtime after the holiday spending and it's no business's favorite time of the year. So whatever you can do to kind of extend the sales a little bit is a good thing to try. Now let's look at strategies for when you should send these emails. Ideally, you'll use data from your email provider to choose the best days and times to send emails to your customers based on their real activity. However, if you don't have that information yet, like you've just started sending emails or you've been inactive for some time, don't worry. Studies show that generally the best day to send emails is Tuesday, with the worst days being Saturday and Sunday. So keep that in mind when you're planning your campaigns. I hope you found this video helpful and that it gave you some ideas for your holiday marketing campaigns. The trick is to plan them out so that you don't feel frazzled or miss opportunities to promote the right product at the right time. Your customers want to buy from you. They want to support you, especially during the holidays. They sometimes just need a little bit of help remembering it. Use your most dedicated customers as a source audience to build lookalikes so that you can find even more customers just like them. Good luck in your holiday marketing campaigns. Let us know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I'll see you next time.